Finally, we can develop app on the go with your iPad without many compromises. Hello and welcome, I'm Alessandro Belli and in this channel we talk about tech and productivity and programming. A while ago I wanted to update my own website and I wanted to use Ghost because Ghost is a platform that also manages your newsletter as well as your blog. Ghost is a paid service but it's also open source so you can download the source code and then install it on your server. That was my goal. I tried to set up on a Windows machine but it was quite complicated so I tried to set up on my iPod and I found a way to actually code on an iPod. I thought it wouldn't be awesome to go to a bar with an iPod and just work on my website. I did this solution which is still a compromise but it's uh, going better and better because of course the iPad is not a, a complete substitute of your uh, laptop for working but I could work well and I'm still working really well at my website. Starting with the iPad setup I have a magic keyboard but any keyboard with the iPad can be used, even an external Bluetooth keyboard. The software I used is called Working Copy, which is a Git substitute as well as a code editor on the iPod. It's snappy and works perfectly. You can also try the new revolutionary VS Code.dev, which is an IDE solution on the web. So it's visual, basically it's Visual Studio online but uh, it's still on a beta version it's not working for everything but i could use it with ghost still i prefer to use an app i don't know it feels more safe for now talking about the other parts of my tech setup i have the cheapest server on DigitalOcean, which is six euro a month and if your website doesn't have an extreme amount of visitors it's the best, it's totally fine. You can just spend six euro a month, you have a website and a newsletter. The ghost installation was quite easy because you go on the marketplace on DigitalOcean, you just click on ghost and it installed the machine in a snap. Then you can just uh, log in with your SSH key and you are already in the machine and it, it works. That's it. GitHub Action are little wonderful tools that you can extend your workflow on GitHub and make it magic. I actually didn't know this like more than six months ago. I discovered them about six months ago. You can test your code, you can deploy your code and you can tidy up your code as well. What you have to do is to create a .git slash workflows uh, folder and then inside there you have to put a .yml file in, in which you place the code of your github action. In that way that folder will be recognized by the github and you will run the action. And you can also see on top of your bar in your repository there is a tab called actions that's where your action will be executed and you can see the report in there. As far as the development I have a github action that deploy the theme as soon as I push the code that I edit and that's automatically. And in addition to that I have another GitHub action called Notion Hook for which I made a video about it. That action synchronized the commits to Notion so I keep track of every comment that I did for this theme on Notion. I did an ungodly amount of comments because when there is something that doesn't work I just try everything until it works especially if with CSS, I actually only for CSS. I will link in the description the action I used, my action and the one that I use for with Ghost to deploy the theme. This is the setup. After you get your iPad with working copy, you have a GitHub repository, you set up your actions and you have a server which is configured with your domain. That's it. You just push the code, you see the changes in my case, I also had a fake domain that I configured first and that's how I did the bulk of my changes. Then I changed the IP on the server to match the one of my website and now the changes are live on my website. Every time I change something, it's already live on the website. You can check the link in the description for also my team called Ghostelli. Ghost and Belly. <laughs> very good with names right my consideration about this setup it was a bit time consuming it wasn't snappy i didn't know uh, working copy as an app on the ipad 
I found it though, then I didn't know about the GitHub action, I found it, so I, I did some research, but the result is great. The compromise I did is that I have a droplet that needs to be rented every month and you need to take care of it. Usually nothing, you have to do nothing, I'm doing nothing from weeks since weeks and it's going on well and I will soon start my newsletter. I now made my theme modular so you can actually use your images in the home page, your text in the home page and now you can use it. And let's face it, a droplet is cheaper than an actual ghost installation. This is the droplet cost and this is the ghost, the cheapest ghost installation cost. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check my video about Notion Hook, the GitHub action I used, or how I use Notion to overcome difficult life period. Thanks for watching and bye!